is the Transformers for Age of Extinction Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2 pack Bumblebee. Figure has both the deluxe class second version of the deluxe class Bumblebee, the 2014 Camaro, as well as a Generations Legends uh, Bumblebee, which was previously released in another two pack with uh, a mini con. All right, let's put that off to the side for you. The figure is part. Oh, just what am I doing? Figure is part of the second wave of Evolution Two Pack Deluxes by Toys R Us, and I think will be part of Wave Three of the regular uh, Deluxe Class Wave for the movie line. Um, not all stores are going to be ordering that wave three since it's supposed to be out this September this month September or October depending on which country you're in and you know given the trend given the uh, experiences with most stores some are just content with just ordering ordering wave one and two and then once the movie's gone uh, not all stores will order succeeding waves so any chance you get this is a little bit more pricey because of this one and it's an exclusive but I try to get the figures that I need when I can get them because you know sometimes the stores just don't order it so all right cool so here they are um, let's start with this guy this is just a legends two pack he's supposed to represent the G1 bumblebee it's not a bad figure to get in fact uh, you think you I, I think you get more bang for your buck with this set compared to the strafe and slug because they've got really small mini con sized um, legends class sized uh, figures this is more of a in between a scout class and a legends class this is the generation of legends which is I think a better deal if you get the bumblebee too you, you get more plastic I've done a review of this one the one that it's exactly the same figure there's nothing changed about it even the paint apps plastic is the same uh, he comes with blaze master the helicopter that turns into a gun and robot and uh, if you want to see more of that review go check it out on my channel there's in this channel I, I, it's somewhere there but just for the sake of showing everybody how uh, for those of you who didn't see that video uh, let me just transform Bumblebee this way into his uh, alt mode what am I doing okay and he supposed that if you if you must know if you didn't grow up in the 80s, Bumblebee was a Volkswagen Beetle, and recently ha ha Takara had acquired the license to do the Beetle, and we're getting this year towards the end of this year, 2014, we'll get the masterpiece Bumblebee. That's going to be very very exciting. Now this one is a mech tech weapon. For some weird reason, I can't remember which Dark of the Moon figure had this. It I, for a while I thought it was Soundwave. Um, I could be wrong. Soundwave, uh, uh, deluxe class, uh, Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Am I wrong? All right, or Wheeljack? I don't think so. Um, it kind of looks like the the Mech Tech gimmick that Tenel Prime had, or Megatron. I'm not sure, but somebody tell me which figure this came from. But anyway, you can you can have this figure hold it. I mean, it's just gonna look weird. But if you need to give him an extra gun, you could. So there, that's that's that. Now on to the main figure very very nice I was actually very pleased I was preparing myself to be very disappointed with this figure I was gonna I was expecting that I'll be doing a review of him and saying ah oh, he's small he's not worth the money he's I was I had very little hopes and expectations for this figure other than the fact that he would look cool with the other Autobots uh, but this figure has managed to surprise me it is a wonderful figure Despite its size, it's probably one of the best bumblebees out there. Had it been just a little bit bigger, I mean, Hasbro has been cutting down plastic on their figures, scaling it down and whatnot. Yeah, okay, I get that cost cutting and whatnot. Uh, okay, but you know, could have been one of the best bumblebees out there. Very, very nice. Um, this is by far, I think, still the best bumblebee movie bumblebee you could get I mean 
you know, he's got all the articulation. Transformation is fantastic. The scale, well, he's a little bit bigger, but it's great. Um, Proportion-wise, not a lot of kibble. He's got the weapons, so very, very nice. But this one, had it been a little bit bigger, could be, you know, could give that guy a run for his money. Having said that, it's still not a bad figure. This is his battle mode. There's a battle mask, which you can... Um, you can lift up to reveal his eyes like that. And then he's got some light piping, I think. Yeah, just a little bit. Barely. Barely anything. Uh, yeah, we get some something. Anyway, um, how does he scale with the others? Let me see. Oops! I'm trying to be Michael Bay. Uh, here he is with the other members of the team I mean, drift is really small smaller than this guy look at that he's just up to his head because of the helmet but he's really small crosshairs but the same which is nice i thought he'd be much bigger so he's, he's in there very very nice okay and then finally uh after four movies we've come from this to this um okay uh, detail wise yes um, you've got in some better sculpting uh, okay but the value for money this is like 50% more expensive than him and he's got less amount of plastic but it, it's nice to see how how Hasbro has taken this iconic character uh, anyway. so sculpt I love it overall I'm, I'm very happy I'm, I like the way it, the kibble compresses and even this one some people say just lift this up no i i like it the way it is it look, makes him look like that warrior that that warrior that michael b was trying to portray bumblebee as yeah he's his hand does turn into his uh, blaster which is nice uh, unfortunately just works on one hand uh, this other hand was not equipped with that come on hasbro that's a, you could have at least given us that he didn't give him a blaster should have made both external blaster should have made him both arms uh, tra uh, transform into blasters. They they do, however. Hasbro ever gave us these ninja stars, Christmas lantern, something. I don't I don't remember if Bumblebee used them in the movie. Um, there was a scene where it was showing a little bit. I think when when they showed Stinger, he had these on his back or something like that. There was some. I, th I thought I glimpsed at something like this on his back, like spike shurikens or what. It's just, I don't know why it even it's even here. I, I, is it the rims of the car that he t uses as shurikens? These the rims are definitely different, as you can see. So, I don't know. This you could do away with. You can put it in a bin or something. He can hold it if you want him to hold it. Yeah, like that. Which is weird. And uh, yeah. Anyway. So articulation for the figure. He's got a ball jointed neck. No waist or torso articulation. Uh, he's got a swivel shoulder with a hinge that goes out. Uh, ball hinge elbow that ratchets a little bit. He's got, he's got a ratcheting uh, hip joints. Ball hinge. Thigh swivel. Hinge knees. Another hinge here for the foot because of transformation and ankle articulation so very very nice paint apps eh, not the best not perfect uh, see, there are some parts that really bleed in uh, you'll get to see some that have chipped off port parts here just like the generation skids eh, yeah the handling of the figure because these protrude so when you stack them up they probably get scraped I don't know there's some parts that have the yellow bleeding into black but other than that very very minor complaints for this figure also, one thing I liked about it, the transformation of this figure, which we'll get to in a while, right about now. No fake chests. Um, this is how he looked like in the movie, and this thing just, it, it's not part of the car or anything, so I'm glad, you know, the design was was like that. And uh, I think they executed very well in toy form. So to transform the figure, finally, pop this up, you get the front part of the car. The head just stays there. It doesn't go in. Yeah. Go ahead and fold the shoulder pieces and form the fenders and 
bumpers of the of the car. Go ahead and align the arms. Very very simple, intuitive, um, not not as difficult as you you might think. Go ahead and fold fold out these pieces. out you can already see how the car is going to be forming like that okay very very simple okay okay and you see it's it, they're inverted you can either well the, the best way is you just rotate the thighs like that or you could rotate this and then bend it backwards like that you could then bend it back like that it's, it'll still have the same result uh, but for simplicity's sake you just do it this way okay and then you join the pieces together and that's the rear end of the car front end of the car and you can already see where this thing is going to go um, stretch this out Oh, okay, my bad. All right. You have to align it properly so that they sit, yeah, flush. Uh, there's some gaps. There's going to be some gaps, at least on the copy that I got. Um, it's not a perfect uh, a transformation. Uh, you could try and fidget with it, but you, there'll always be some gaps. I don't know why. Most transformers, they always, most bumblebees and most car transformers are usually like that. Then you just join uh, these pieces together. Um, like that. Mm -hmm. Strong. Oh, okay. The, those tabs right there, you're supposed to hook onto that, this part of the shoulder. And those are, I think, what I fear will break first when you have your kids play with these. Um, just, just be wary of that. Tell them to be wary of that. Be gentle when you transform the figure, and uh, you have less heartache. Because that those things are very difficult to super glue. If you super glue them, they're gonna keep breaking once you break them. And there you go. Not as flush as I wanted it to be, but it's good enough. There is Age of Extinction Bumblebee version two in his uh, 2014 Camaro mold. Come on, why isn't it? Okay, it's supposed to be enough clear today. Yeah, okay, there you go. This, this thing is just scraping the ground. It's not cl collapsing as, as high as I want it to be. Ah. There is a millimeter of clearance, which is the trend that Hasbro always does with these car transformers, Autobots. So, yeah, it'll roll nice and smooth. And this one, um, the packaging says that they it clips here. I'm not sure how that happens. Sorry, I actually don't know how... I've not tried clipping these things in. My bad. So they're supposed to go here, right there, and then this one is supposed to, there's additional clips right there. So this one is supposed to go here. Really? No, I don't think so. No. to go like that <laughs> I don't know I think you can just leave this off in a bin somewhere and there's just, I don't really see this one adding any value to bumblebee I mean it's it's pointy can even be safety issue but you know I, I you know Hasbro should have just invested in another blaster for the left arm I'm sorry but that that's the only thing that's wrong still you know Having said that, it doesn't detract too much from the figure. This whole set in general, I, I still like it. Uh, the alt mode is fan fantastic. Here's the Dark of the Moon Cyberfire Bumblebee. It's a little bit small, as you can see. 
Yeah. Okay. And then here he is with this high octane version, the version, first version. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger, as you can see. It's not doing it justice. Okay, here we go. Yep, they're about the same in scale. Uh, I, no, it's actually smaller. My bad. No, they're just, yeah, well, it looks smaller in camera, but they're basically the same. Uh, the wheels are actually bigger. So, yeah, there you go. So, very, very nice. Very pleased with this set, even though it costs a little bit too much <laughs> over here in Manila. Ah, $38. No. Not 30, 30, 30 something dollars. Yeah. What can you do? Inflation. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click thumbs up icon at the bottom. Um, I post all of the toys that I purchase uh, on my Twitter account at FX France. If you're toy hunting here in Manila and you want to see what's out there, I do take photos. Uh, of the of the toys I see not just transformers. I post it all on Instagram together with the uh, uh, Location the exact location and the store's name um, That's Instagram at FX friends and uh, One more one last thing uh, before I go I'd like to give a big big shout out to the guys at Iacon City PH just a, uh, a Wonderful wonderful place to talk transformers um, if, if you're if you're big on, let's see, uh, on Facebook, um, you like posting pictures and whatnot, just a wonderful place to talk about everything Transformers. Uh, so there you go, folks. Um, this has been the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2 pack Bumblebee. These two. Thanks for watching.